Hello guys, welcome to M&D Made Simple. I'm your host, Coach Alexander. Access 12 short courses in monitoring and evaluation. So this is what we're going to be talking to you. I'm going to be talking to you today. And for those of you who are very new to this channel, my name is Coach Alexander. I've been doing this for 10 years now, and I enjoy every bit of it. M&D is my full expertise. So if you're here for the very first time, please subscribe to this channel so that you get all the latest updates on a regular basis. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. If you want to go straight away and access the short 12 courses in monitoring and evaluation, just go to the timestamps in the description below and it will get you straight away to that part of the video. But if you want me to just explain what these 12 courses are about, then just listen to this video from start to finish. And I would prefer you do that because I feel that you deserve to know what you're signing up for. Now, the, the thing about the 12 courses is that they are meant to improve your knowledge and understanding of M&D. And really that is critical in the world where the job demands are growing. So you really need to have a concrete understanding of what M&D is, okay? Not memorizing stuff from these complicated textbooks. But another thing is that you need to improve on your application of these concepts on the job. A lot of people have been writing to me that they've been telling me that they don't really understand the, you know, it's difficult to apply what they learned at school. And I used to face that as well. So these courses are meant to help you apply, to become more applicable on the job. It will also help you become more high performing as a professional, such that even your bosses will really rely on you. I have one experience of a student that I coached and he really praises the the course content of the coaching program that we provide. So it's it's very heartwarming when you hear such experiences coming from students. Then also another thing is building M&D systems from scratch. This is very important. You need to know how to build a monitoring and evaluation system from scratch, okay? Now let me talk about these courses in detail so that you understand what you'll be signing up for. Okay, so one of my favorite courses is how to develop a monitoring and evaluation system step by step. You see, this course talks about the whole process, okay? F starting from the review stage to the planning and then the actual systems build up. You have to understand that a monitoring and evaluation system is not something, it's not just about having something digital. It can also be something paper-based. But the issue is that how do you manage data collection, analysis, and report writing? Because essentially that's what the system should do. So this one is one of the best that have been produced to date. And I really want you to get the full benefit out of this. And mind you, you see, when you get access to, you won't just get access to one course, you get access to all the 12 courses all at once and you'll be able to capacitate yourself in monitoring and evaluation. Now, the second one is the written test questions and answers. A very interesting one as well. You know, for those of you who are going for aptitude tests, this could be very important for you because the, the whole point is that you want to pass these tests, but some of the questions that come are actually part of these written test questions and answers because the whole idea is to test you on how best you can apply monitoring and evaluation should you be hired on the job. So this is very good so that you can practice. And the good thing is that once you answer these test questions, the system automatically gives you the results that you've gotten out of answering those test questions. So I would urge you also to consider this course. Another one is how to conduct a project baseline. Now you realize a project baseline is, is also a type of evaluation. And it is a part of the M&D cycle which is so important. 
because once you get the baseline information you can actually com you can actually make comparisons and these comparisons give you a sense of whether you are actually under uh, underachieving or you are achieving your targets now the the baseline is 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 good to conduct for those of you who have not conducted it it's too bad because this is something your organization should have done but it's never too late to try to make amends in the next project cycle you should be able to factor in this in so that you'll be able to make those comparisons now the fourth course is also interesting learn survey design now the thing about uh, m and e is that uh, on a regular basis, we do these surveys. The surveys are important, especially in an event where you can't reach the whole entire population. So this course actually details how the exact methodology you should use to conduct these kind of surveys. And this is more prominent when the evaluation is being undertaken because using this methodology, you get uh, statistics that can help you make informed decisions about the progress of the project. Okay, so now the other ones, the fifth course is on the fundamentals of social impact. What is social impact? Social impact is the ways, um, for instance, when there are these interventions from projects, what is the effect on society? Okay, what changes do we see? So these are some of the things uh, that, that this course talks about. So if you're implementing a project, how do you measure these social changes? And the methodology is explained and outlined in this course. It's good to have the full package because this will, in, in, in conclusion, help you become better at what you do. Now, the sixth one is also important. I like this one because it's the basics of M and D. Okay, now this is mo mainly the beginners level course, and gives you, uh, you know, the most basic stuff about M and D. So it's a good start for you, especially if you are a beginner. You might want to use this course to just begin your journey, but in the event probably you don't feel like using it at the moment. It could help in future just to, uh, you know, polish up some of the basic things you forgot. Then the seventh one is introduction to econometrics. Econometrics is uh, I, I I I have to explain it in a in a way that you can capture it easily. It's basically a mathematical way of forecasting. Okay, so you using mathematics, you you can be able to tell how the future would be it's very good especially in target setting okay because when you have the right statistics you can be able to set realistic targets mathematically so this is why it's a good course it's also good for an m and officer to just basically know what econometrics is all about then one of my favorites is the kpis in project management Key performance indicators are so, so important. And actually, this is the the heart of monitoring and evaluation. Because without the KPIs, you cannot know where you're going. You cannot know whether you're achieving your targets. So what I would want to urge you is that among the first few courses you should be uh, listening to, are the KPIs in project manage management among the 12. Now, let's talk about impact evaluation. Now, impact evaluation course is another good course. I like it because it's really telling you about change. You know, oftentimes we want change to happen. We want our projects to succeed. Okay, but how do you define success? Success is defined if an intervention or if a project actually has the impact. So this course actually explains the methodology that you use in order to measure impact. Impact, mind you, 
you know there are different types of evaluation but impact evaluation is a is an activity that is undertaken up to five years later because the thing is that uh, change takes time okay so this is why this is a very good course it will help you especially when you are you want to do an impact evaluation and you're coming up with a terms of reference for a consultant to come and undertake it or you could do it yourself for another project as a consultant then the tenth one is m and d for professionals so that this one is good it's 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 the leveling up it's taking you up to a different level in terms of uh, the knowledge you get from monitoring and evaluation it's a good course especially when you want to upgrade the logical framework analysis approach is one of my favorites you know like i mentioned earlier on the heart of m and d is in in the kpis but the kpis are actually found in the lfa matrix so it tells you how you can develop this lfa matrix and apply it fully in your organization then the project m and d for beginners again this is another beginners m and d course but it takes a bit of a different angle to the other one it's much longer okay it's much longer in the sense that uh, in duration you you get much more detail compared to the later one which you saw earlier on so these are the 12 courses which you get and now let's get to the part of how you access these 12 courses well the instructions are pretty simple y the the form is actually in the description below so when you click the link you get to this uh, page just simply enter your email address and first name and press the, the button access so it will you you'll be given a, a document that will give you some more information about the courses okay so that you know what you're signing up for and then you could you can access as you read through because there's another link in that document okay so i really hope this will be helpful especially for those who are really eager to learn but without saying anything further remember that m and d made simple continues giving you a lot of good free content so please continue writing to me continue following this channel at this point in time, I want to say thank you so much. And I've been your host, Coach Aline Sander. And see you on the other side. Bye.